Do you remember when I made a real exosuit? Well, today we're going to look at a commercial exosuit. Yes, it's the Mate from Kamau. This video is sponsored by Kamau Mate, and we're going to find out more about the products and the company later in this video. But first of all, let's see what's in the box. So we've got one instruction guide, one quick start reference card, what looks like some extended waist straps, and of course the Comal Mate itself. So I've just popped it on a mannequin torso here so we can demo it. So at the front, of course, we've got a pretty standard sort of rucksack looking configuration with two adjustable shoulder straps with pads on and a chest strap here, which adjusts in height. And of course, we've got a big padded waist belt. It gets a bit more interesting around the back though, of course, we've got this big aluminium piece, which is the main brace between the shoulders and the waist support here. Up on the shoulders here, we've got these two slides pieces with the arm braces attached which slide in and out on sliders and there's some elastic strap here and we can adjust the tension of that to get the right sort of spacing there to get that to fit round different size people. Each actual shoulder mechanism has several pivots so we've got one that goes this way and one that comes out this way and we've got of course the main arm pivot we'll look at that in a moment. So there's a little adjuster here, I don't know if you can see the three divots and you can adjust the minimum height of this with an adjustment at the top so that that can go lower or higher at rest. On each of the main shoulder axis, we've got a little lock here which unlocks and then we'll find this is tensioned to travel all the way up and we can adjust the tension on that as well. And that of course has got the main arm brace here you put your arm through. Right, we're gonna put it on. So I'm gonna put it on like a rucksack, I think. Just get my arms in there and try and get that waist belt on. And we should be able to pull up those tabs with a little tab stuck on there to pull the back in and get that at the right height. Good, and let's do up this chest strap and the shoulders. Right, good, so now I should be able to put my arms in if I just undo each of the locks. And pull those forward one by one. I should be able to just pop my arm into the brace there and just do that Velcro up. Right, good, and I think that's it. So that feels pretty good. I can feel the natural tension is pushing my arms up and each arm's got a tension adjuster. It's set on one out of six at the moment. So I guess for more tasks over your head, you set it to a higher tension and that helps support your arms. It's got quite a good range of motion. Everything's pretty much on sliders and pivots. So you should be able to see all the joints working there. But what are we gonna do with it? Well, we're going to go and visit Kamau and find out some more about the company and try and do some exercises in it. I'm at Kamau's UK live production facility where they're actually doing manufacturing processes. So we're going to use the Kamau Mate in some real life scenarios. So tell me more about Kamau as a company. So Kamal's a worldwide leader in industrial automation systems and products. We will develop systems for companies who have a need to solve an issue, whether it's increasing production, reducing costs. We basically design the systems for them and then we basically build them and install them as well. Kamal make all sorts of industrial automation equipment, including big robot arms and little robot arms like EDU, which is designed to promote STEM education in schools, colleges and universities. Can you tell me how that development led into the Kamau Mate. So we started off collaborating with experts within the wearable technologies field um, and working with them and most importantly the people who are actually going to be using these products especially that initial stage is where we started our journey. We obviously did focus groups to collate information you know what are the concerns they have where can their working environment be improved what can be done to really benefit them uh, we went through three prototypes in the development of the product and through each stage those workers that fed back in regards to what they would like out the product continuously tested it throughout. They drove the innovation moving forwards from each prototype to each prototype. I'm going to do some service tasks to this robot arm, mostly working above my head and we'll see how the suit supports my arms. So most of this is working above my head, obviously if we were holding something like this the suit will give me some more support. We've only got two on the tension on here at the moment, so I'm going to turn that up in a minute. Already I can feel the natural tension there holding my arms up. 
HSE show that on average a workplace injury in the UK uh, without court costs around £8,000 per case on average. Each unit comes with a five year life cycle when operated in the correct environment. And if this product can save you one injury within that time, technically it's paid for itself and then some. So I've had the tension set on two so far, I'm gonna turn it up to six and that's pretty easy to do with an Allen key. So now I can feel there's much more tension there for holding tools above your head. Yep, that seems much easier. So we then collaborated with experts in the field, Auvo and Assa, uh, who are an Icelandic orthopedic equipment supplier. Through that collaboration, we managed to generate the mate exoskeleton. And of course, one important part of every robot service is giving it a good clean. The Comal mate's really good for repetitive tasks like painting. Another repetitive task is drinking coffee while procrastinating over projects. So can you tell me about typical uses for the Kamal Mate and who would use it and why it's relevant to people? Yeah, I mean, as I've touched upon, it's application specific. So some of the uses we get, uh, we've also touched upon earlier today. So electrical maintenance, uh, robotic maintenance, working overhead. The real driving factor behind this product is looking after people and reducing the amount of injuries they get from working in these environments and doing these repetitive non-stop tasks. So this is my exosuit I built. It's a bit different from the Kamau Mate. It had some motors in and it kind of moved when I moved. Mm. So mm. it had legs as well and I could just about walk, although it was frankly easier to walk without it. It wasn't really the same as the Kamau Mate in that it wasn't ergonomic and it wasn't really of any use. No, it's really cool and very in interesting. I wouldn't like to get out of it by the looks of it. No, either. I've got a three-point harness which I'm now trapped in, which is what's going on there with the whole thing, which is too heavy to pick up, falling over backwards. Um, I think for the time being, I'm going to stick with the mate just for now. Yeah, I think I will as well. But maybe come back in 10 years and we can look at it again. Yeah. I definitely think so. Thanks to Kamal for having me today and being able to test the Kamal Mate for various activities. It's been really interesting finding out about the company and the development of the Mate. It inspired me a bit to go back and try and make a third version of my exosuit. You'll have to look out for that perhaps next year. Alright, that's all for now. <laughs>